laugh. The chemicals that are being used can get on your food or in your drinks, and then you're eating them. Don't do that. Before handling any chemicals, be sure to have proper safety gear. A pair of gloves and goggles are normally all that is necessary. Make sure to check with your lab instructor for any further safety gear. Shorts? Open-toed shoes? What were you thinking? I have goggles, isn't that enough? What happens when you spill chemicals and it gets on your skin and you catch fire and die? I really didn't realize it was that big of a deal. It is. It is. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go change. That's a good plan. Don't... don't do that. Why are there things in the aisle way? Somebody could trip, and if they have chemicals, that's a chemical spill, and if they have glass, you're gonna end up in the hospital dying. Don't, don't do that. Hey guys, watch this. Hey! Don't do that. Make sure you only do the assigned experiment. Do you know how dangerous it can be to mix chemicals when you don't know what they're going to do? Next time you could blow up the lab! Uh. Now for a quick wrap up. No eating or drinking in the lab. Wear suitable protective gear, gloves and goggles. Dress properly. No shorts or open-toed shoes. Keep the aisleways clear in case of emergency. Do not horseplay or goof off while experimenting. And only do the assigned experiment. An important thing to remember when handling chemicals is that they are easy to mix up and contaminate. Make sure to never confuse which glassware and which pipette goes with each chemical. Mixing reagents together could cause an experiment to be unsuccessful, and even worse, could have an adverse chemical reaction. After a lab is completed and chemicals are done being used, they need to be disposed of properly. Make sure you dispose of your chemicals in the correct waste bottles as instructed by your lab instructor. Be careful not to spill chemicals. And if dangerous chemicals are being used in the lab, dispose of them under the fume hood.
Knowing how to transport chemicals safely from your bench to the fume hood or vice versa is important. Acquire a bin and load it with everything that you need. This will reduce the chance of spilling any hazardous materials on your trip. Now, here are some clips of how not to transport chemicals. No! Oh, there's no way, Bo. Yeah, that'll work. No! It's only 100 milliliters. It's only 100 milliliters. It's only 100 milliliters. No! Hey, here's a sulfuric acid. Sweet. No! Now for a quick wrap up. Don't cross contaminate the chemicals. Make sure to dispose of waste properly. Let the professor know when glass is broken and be careful not to cut yourself. Let the professor or lab assistant know when chemicals are spilled. And finally, transport chemicals safely to your bench. The MSDS, or Material Safety Data Sheet, is intended to provide workers and emergency personnel with procedures for handling or working with substances in a safe manner. It includes information such as physical data, toxicity, health effects, first aid, flammability, reactivity, storage and disposal, what protective equipment to use, and how to handle a spill involving the substance. It is an important reference that should be referred to when handling an unknown substance. In the case of a fire, know the locations of the fire blanket and the fire extinguisher. These can be the difference between life and death. Also remember, stop, drop, and roll is a thing. This into here, and once you've done that, you're also going to want to add about a milliliter of this as well. And then go ahead and stir it and let it sit for a minute. Did you need something? Oh, yeah, the few minutes on fire. Okay, class, we're going to calmly proceed towards the exit. Please go. Keep going, keep going. Why did you set the fuel hood on fire? The fuel hood is on fire. What were you thinking? Don't do that. In, no, don't do that. In what world is that a good idea? You're going to burn yourself. We're going to have to move the chemistry lab to the hospital because you're going to die. Don't. No, don't do that. In the case of an emergency, you should flush your eyes at the eye wash station for at least 15 minutes. Make sure to keep your eyes open and rotate your eyeballs around in every direction to remove all chemical contamination in the area. Seek further medical attention if the chemical contact is serious. Don't do that. Gentler. That's better. Go ahead. Oh. I think I cut myself. Okay. Put that down. Come this way. We're going to go to the sink. Reggie's in charge. We're going to the hospital. In the case of a cut or an injury, know the location of the first aid kit. Why do you still have that sponge? It's 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 fun. It's just fun to play with. I okay. Mean, I know it's dangerous. Can I, can I? No, no, I want it. Reggie, what are you doing, Reggie? Damn it, Reggie! <laughs> In the event of spilling chemicals on your body, you should immediately go to the safety shower, remove your clothes, and thoroughly rinse for at least 15 minutes.
Now for the final wrap up. Know where the MSDS is located and how to use it. Know the locations of the fire blanket and fire extinguisher. Leave calmly in the case of a large fire. Operate hot equipment carefully, Bunsen burners and hot plates. Use the eyewash station in cases of chemical contact with the face. Know the location of the first aid kit and how to apply a band-aid. And use the safety shower in instances of spilling chemicals all over yourself. Oh crap. The TV turned off. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Don't don't do that. You're gonna didn't we have this conversation already? Horseplay, bad, hospital, fall. You're gonna fall and break your neck. You're the gonna TV, spill chemicals on the TV. The TV isn't working. Why do you need TV in the chemistry lab? They just chemistry. Knitting in lab? Don't do that. Why are you knitting in lab? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't knit in lab. Don't do that. All right, now class, we're going to be doing this in lab next week, and it will be on your exam later tomorrow. So it's very important oh, you write around. this reaction down. I, I, I think I cut myself. We can go where we want to. Place where they will never find. And we can act like we come from out of this world. We don't be your one far behind. Go. Hey, here's the sulfuric acid. Sweet. <laughs>